Hello, hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsus and we are back here in the wasteland of Factorio. Or more precisely, Beltless Factorio, as this series is called, because we are doing everything without belts. Last time uh, we worked down here and added a magnificent uh, Uranian processing station that has produced quite a few fuel cells so far. Um, here we are not stocked up. I would assume that's mainly because a good portion of the light green uranium goes this way instead of the of the uh, uh, coverage enrichment um, we can we can tweak that um, as we go probably we want to have uh, this insert to control that it only uh, inserts if we have uh, more than a certain number of uh, uranium uh, 235 in here. So, but today we want to actually build the new reactor which is an eight core reactor and we will place it here in the water because that simplifies getting the water into uh, uh, all the all the heat exchanges but there are probably a few things that we have to figure out out of the way and that's why we are here in this wasteland so we can try things out apart from uh, landfill I should have everything that I need uh, for an 8 core reactor and 8 core means um, basically this set up here and now we have to insert and extract fuel cells and we need to do that on the long side um, uh, so we can do that somewhat efficiently and i think down here we have a set up like this for two neighboring cells and uh, let's copy that first so we would have one here and then of course one there and I was thinking we might want to have the line that brings in the fuel cells and, and puts them out, not here on this side, but maybe have it on lined on this side and on this side and then going on this side like that. So, if that's in, um, then probably we will have something like this going out. and that aligns so that works and then we will have 
this going that direction. And and then probably as close as possible bring that over to this side. So now we need to copy this part over to the top side. Um, and then here, of course, everything goes in that direction. This goes in that direction. Mm, and so that would then be that way. And why is this like that? Ah, because of course they are they are offset. So probably we want to mirror that that whole thing so we have this and this and then here and here and here and here This is where we come in. Here we have like that. That's where we go out. And then We can bring all that here to the middle. Right. Unfortunately, it does not line up directly. Uh, so we can have one chest, but need to have two chests. Um, uh, that's that's not to to worry too much so and let's copy this part to there fill in those chests there we go uh, now we need a bit of wire here and here and then um, just copy this over and here we can down to there right out of inserters okay 
But that basically means we would have a line of four going this direction. Now we need to get the, the heat out of here. And that could be a bit tricky with, with all these, these lines in the way. And we want to have the heat exchangers as close as possible. So let's combine these two. Then we can have this one here. And here we will replace this with a long handled. And we can go here and then here on this side I think what we will do is Another thing that I heard is if you double up the wire like this, you can transfer heat farther. So and then on here, we will not bother with putting the steam directly into the turbines well maybe we can here on this side but basically uh, to save space um, uh, we we do it that way and that's probably not the the most efficient way to do it Um, but we can link these two or these four together. Um, we need this chest and this chest. We can have this go here and then out like this. And then same thing on this side. Here a long-handed inserter. Combine that. And here something like this. And of course here on this side we have already quite a way to go uh, with the pipe without having any any turbines on it um, which could be an issue because basically on here we only have two reactors and here we would be would be easy uh, to to add more turbines because I'm not sure uh, if the heat uh, transfers from reactor to reactor I suppose it does but I don't know but of course what we can do here and as well is basically bring this out here and have another set going there. And that should do it, uh, line-wise. And here I think we will just go this way. Um, 
and hope that we can squeeze in all the, the turbines as close as possible uh, that we need. So let me check the wiki so I can figure out how how far we can we can reach out with with these pipes and then we also have to figure out uh, where we want to place our pumps so we can actually fuel uh, the things with water so i will check that i will finish that design and then we will have a final review on here uh, before we place all the landfill down and uh, put it uh, on here all right see you in a bit i think i have sorted things out up here uh, we do have this uh, asymmetrical setup because we uh, uh, have to put in the uh, items from one side but then on the other side we can make use of uh, having uh, double uh, heat uh, transfers uh, for for better uh, uh, transferiness uh, and have a load of uh, heat exchanges here on this side um, we will then also need uh, to hook up some uh, some uh, uh, um, steam tanks these ones and we probably and and then have the turbines fed from the steam tanks and out of the steam tanks we probably want um some pumps um so that we get uh the the pressure right but of course the steam tanks then will uh, control if we insert items in here and uh, we have to make sure that the insertion has only stack size one we don't want to insert too many fuel cells because then the fuel would burn um, when we are not needing it what i also did is uh, i broke this up here a bit so we have a line uh, going through here and feed in here in the back it's not quite optimal but i think it's the it's the best that we can do and the last thing that i want today in this episode is figuring out where we will have the pumps and as we cannot place pumps here i decided we will use uh, uh, iron chests uh, in order to signify that um, we will use two chests because that's the, the the space we need for a pump and we know the uh, on here and here that needs to be water and in order to be able to place the pump we need basically water on on both sides as as well so can also have pumps here and here and I think uh, as a whole we should need or if if we think about how did I do it down here ah yeah to the outside um, if we do it uh, here we probably want to connect um, for the amount of heat exchangers um, we probably need 10 pumps but it certainly does not hurt 
to have more. So back with the chest we can have one there. Cannot have one down there. Um, Oh, we can make the connection here if we add one more piece that way most of it is connected and right and then Here we hook it up directly and that should probably be more than uh, enough uh, water pumps to supply our system. Uh, what we still might want to see is we need Connect that here and we connect that here and then here as well and also on this side. Here we just have to go the long way around and that should actually connect all the steam as well. Water is not all connected but that does not really matter and I think we can have some steam tanks here on the inside, uh, here on the outside. Uh, and maybe also filling up these gaps there uh, and then we will have to see how to do the rest of the layout with the uh, steam turbines. But I think design wise we have figured that out um, and with the uh, the placement for the uh, um, for the water pumps also in here um, we can try to start uh, filling in the land uh, up to the the point where we where we need to have water place the pump down and then we can fill in the rest of the land um, around it uh, that should work. Uh, probably we'll try that out beforehand. Um, but yeah, that's a project for next time because this episode is long enough. So hope you enjoyed this uh, design of the new nuclear plant and join me next time when we um, actually build it and hook it up and add the uh, add, uh, steam turbines so we actually can produce uh, energy, hook up the delivery system and the pickup system. And um, yeah, if you did like, please consider leaving a like. And if you want to see more, do subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.